So I have a lump sum of money. Does age matter? Meaning, can I be too old to acquire a high cash value life insurance policy, a whole life policy designed for maximum cash value? If I've got a lump sum, does age matter? Can I ever be in a position where it doesn't really work? We're gonna go through that. If you saw, if you watched our last video, we went through a 60 year old male with a lump sum of $300,000 and we really focused on the most efficient way to move a lump sum of money from cash into a policy. Here, we're gonna look at one example of as far as, a, as far as a funding period, but on different age brackets or age ranges. So what we're gonna take a look at is a 60, 65, 70, and 75 year old, a lump sum of 500K, and the best funding period. Best funding period is gonna be five years, just like what we saw uh, at the end of the 60 year old male case study. Now, some consistencies here. <clears throat> All of these policies, while their ages are different, we're gonna see a difference on the policies with the death benefit and MEC limits. MEC limit and death benefit have a direct relationship to each other. The older I grow, the less death benefit is needed to, to obtain the same amount of MEC space. So again, I'll, I'll repeat that. The older I grow, the less death benefit is needed to obtain the same amount of MEC space. So for example, you're going to see $500,000 paid into a policy over five years. That's 100K per year. The 60 year old will naturally need much more life insurance than the 75 year old to obtain the same $100,000 MEC limit. That's what we're looking at here. How do we optimize the policy from a minimum insurance expense, maximum efficiency standpoint? Let's dig in. On the left, 60 year old male. And we've got 65, 70, and 75. Let's start with the MEC limits. So all of these policies have a $100,000 MEC limit. The difference is this. 60-year-old male, $1,430,000. 75-year-old male, $900,000. So this is where age comes into play. If the focus is truly cash value, this is how we optimize it. We're looking at how do I get the minimum death benefit based off of how much I want to be able to pay in. That's, that's the key on this. If I'm just price quoting, right? If I buy the same 1.4 for both individuals, I'm gonna have a different story there. This will cost much more and I'll have a much, much more substantial MEC limit, but we're not gonna do that here. So here's what I wanna look at. 500K total going in across the board. When is my break even point? 60 year old, year four, 65, same thing, that's better. 70 year old, we painted 400,000, that reads 398,000 right there, so we're just about there. This is all based off of this particular company's present dividend rate, which is a little over 5.6%. And then the 75 year old male, a little bit delayed compared to the other guys, year five. What's so interesting to that about that though to me is <laughs> we'll run into individuals that are in their 30s that have been shown and proposed policies that took 13 years to break even. And what's interesting is if you do it right, not only do you get all your cash up front or the majority of it, but optimal long-term cash values as well. I know there's a debate out there as far as having more upfront results in less long-term, which typically is not the case if it's designed right. But what's interesting here, so am I too old to move a lump sum into a policy? No, um, what you might see different here, if we had a 40 year old male, the only difference I would throw in is I would consolidate that funding if it's 500K, that would be over two to three payments for optimal cash value. The older I get, the more the insurance expenses are here, you could probably move to six years and see very similar cash values, a little bit stronger on the guarantees. Point being, we're not too old. As long as the policy is set up properly, can certainly move a lump sum in. And if I just want to fund the policy, maybe I don't have a lump sum, maybe it's coming down the road, or I want to keep feeding the policy, keep feeding the beast, 
you can do that as well. So this displays a five pay. That doesn't mean you have to stop funding in five years. You can keep feeding it if you want to. Uh, we do mech test it as well, all that good stuff, but I don't want to ramble. So I hope this one was helpful. Reach out with any questions and we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.